and here we go. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for watching me twice tonight. I know you guys are tired of uh, watching me, and um, but I appreciate you guys sincerely. Oh, we got Daniel the Bearded Apprentice with number one. We got Straight Bearded Robert Acker, number two. Chance, what's going on, buddy? William, we got Jay Cloudy. We have Bearded Metal Chef. What's going on, guys? Let me see if we can get Mike what's in up, here. Man? Mike, can you hear me? What's we got going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I had right. some technical difficulties here. It's all good. It's all good. What's going on, everybody? I hope everybody's having a wonderful, fantastic night. And tonight, we got a treat for you. We have a treat. Oh, yeah. Just wanted to remind everybody real quick before you um, – order tonight or anything like that if you want to order whatever it is that you want to order um you can use shark 25 it saves you 25 percent off during the stream um it's no failure or anything like that it's just something that mike did from the kindness of his heart that he wanted to um, make sure that the people in the stream get a special discount so thank you mike for doing that oh uh, yeah absolutely man thanks for are having me on too. what's going on fellas are you sitting outside no no i'm in my kitchen Oh, I like, the, I like the brick behind you, man. Oh, yeah. It's like uh, there used to be a um, like an old uh, wood burning stove in here. So I think oh, that was okay, kind of cool. like the, yeah, like the whatever. The re I don't know what it's for, but yeah. What you sipping on over there? Just water or uh, I got uh, sweet tea. Actually, oh, it's green tea. tea. Green, green tea. tea. Listen, yes, green tea, sweet We're about tea, to guys. water. It's still a southern thing to be drinking oh, yeah. some tea. I have water. Yeah. I got some Essentia water. So nice. They had a deal. Yeah, we're going actually on. a lot of people probably don't know. You and I aren't very far from each other. No, I'm surprised we haven't met up yet. Yeah, we'll we have to definitely up. plan something, dude. Yeah, I definitely 100% agree with you. So tonight, what we're dropping is Salem's Smoke. And check that out, guys. So if you guys have not watched um, Chronic Beard Company uh, or my review on them, Mike over there has changed my perception <laughs> on hemp seed oil because yeah. I thought for the longest time that I hated hemp seed oil because it made my beard dry, but apparently it wasn't the hemp seed oil. So um, I had to go back on the drawing board and trying to figure out what it is that i don't like but it ain't <laughs> hemp seed oil apparently so i think it's something that might be mixed in with hemp seeds oil but in salem smoke you will get apple cinnamon salted caramel and cigar and yeah. i have it in beard right now i actually put it on while i was on the phone with tyson trying to get it ready for the stream i'm gonna let you go with the um take it over from here and explain a little bit behind the background of Salem Smoke and what made you choose this um, scent profile? Well, you know, I wanted to obviously come out with a fall scent, you know, release something like limited run for this season. And uh, there's a lot of pumpkin, a lot of pumpkin spice out there, you know. Um, so I just kept researching and, you know, talked to my wife and other people. And, um, you know, apples was one thing that came up, uh, caramel. And then um, I'm like, well, I got to throw something else in there, you know. So um, cinnamon is definitely something that I figured I'd throw in. And then the cigar, the cigar is at the end and the cigar is like a Cuban, like a Cuban tobacco cigar. So it's kind of sweet itself. And um, yeah, once I started mixing with them and, I, you know, playing around with it, it uh, that's what it came up with. And the, the reason why I came up with the Salem Smoke, it was going to be Salem's Lot, but I figured that was a little generic. So I just changed the... Uh, change the last part to it and um i was initially gonna throw in a little bit of cannabis into it um just because i thought it, it actually smells pretty good blended in there but i know um some people are you know they can't wear it whether it's for work or, or whatever so i didn't want to uh limit you know people um so that's kind of where it just and it just kind of played out man and that's uh that's where it sits yeah i think you did a really good job with this now the set profile um, on the bottle is, again, what you get, guys, is a little bit of apple, cinnamon, salted caramel, and cigar. 
So it's not a smoky scent for the people that don't like smoke. Um, yeah. You do, you do get. I get more of a salted caramel apple, caramel. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fix the way I say caramel. But, <laughs> caramel, um, caramel, tomato, tomato. I get more of like a candy apple, salted caramel, uh, caramel um, apple out of this. The Cuban mm -hmm. cigar comes out a little bit towards the end, but it's an upfront apple scent. That's what I get. And yeah. it's a long lasting scent, guys. So for the people that do like long lasting scent, I wore this last night around seven o'clock in the morning. And then I woke up this today at six o'clock in the morning and it was still in my beard. It's a subtle, yeah. you get that like after subtle apple scent out of it. And I like it. It's a good, it, I'm so glad the companies are coming out with fall scents because I'm so ready to transition to fall and transition <laughs> to winter time. Right on. Yeah, actually, I, I, I went uh, live last night on my IG um, to make an announcement about something I'll talk about a little bit later. But uh, I had mentioned what you said to me initially when you after you got it. The very first thing you said when I was like, how you like the scent? And I was like, you were like, I hate it. And I was like, oh, that <laughs> shit hit me. I was like, damn. <laughs> but then, you know, obviously you came back and but you got me, man. Initially, I was like, oh, that was harsh. But uh I'm glad you like it, man. It's it's I really like it. I personally get a lot of cinnamon out of it. Um, but maybe that's just what I, you know, so I've actually um but I think it's because the Cuban has uh the Cuban cigar has like a little bit of a cinnamon in it, you know. So yeah, I get a sweet tobacco scent out of it, but I don't get the cinnamon. But then again, I'm not searching for cinnamon. Um, mm -hmm. so but it's not like a spicy or anything like that. Um, big man bearded said, Mike, I will be buying tomorrow night. So no, right guys, if you want to try other scents, one of my, you know, some of my favorite scents from, um, um, from chronic beard company is munchies. Munchies is a really good one. And then Rob Acker wanted me to make sure that I tell you that he absolutely loves wake and bake. Loved by Acker straight beard. And I mean, if it, if this had like, I mean, I don't think it'll kill me if I drank it. it Smells good. I'm sure it tastes good. But we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> I wouldn't drink, drink it. <laughs> a lot of people want to drink that munchies, though. A lot of people like that. The munchies, yes, man. That smell that takes me back to childhood's memory, you know, yeah. with the vanilla and all this. So, oh, look at that a little beard oil. Thank you for the super sticker, uh -oh. brother. I appreciate that, sir. That's awesome. Um, but this is definitely uh, a good feeling beard oil as far as like his products, you know. He caught me by surprise because I wasn't supposed to. I wasn't supposed to like Chronic Beard Companies, guys. In my mind, I had it set that I wasn't supposed to like Chronic Beard Oil because it had hemp seed oil in there. And again, I thought for the longest time that I did not like hemp seed oil. And then, honestly, for I think it was a summer extravaganza, right? It was yeah, summer what, yeah, yeah. You know, um, too, with that one, I, I was going to send you guys my homegrown. It's a citrus cannabis, and that's you know more, so you know summery I guess. But I figured everybody was going to have some kind of citrus in there, you know. So that's why I sent out the wake and bake. Or I mean the uh, munchies to you guys. So the new scent, beer to Joey Hookem. You're going to get apple, cinnamon, salted caramel, and of course <laughs> cigar in there. Now, um, Shatterfly smells like curve to me. And yeah. that's a good one. That's a really good one right there. The butter, guys. So this is the butter that you get from Chronic Beard Company. So you can see the inside of it, the yummy, gooey stuff. Um, yeah. I, that's, that's my finger right there, so you guys know. Yeah. Actually, um, I got a question. How'd that, how'd that come in with the heat and everything? Because that's the first time I've shipped with these new, these new plastic jars. It shifted. Yeah. A little bit, but it mm -hmm. did not like get any kind of gritty or anything like that. Did it liquefy so, at all? Um, no. I think I I, I I I didn't open it up immediately. All right, on. I um I just set it on my shelf for a little bit until it was bedtime. Mm -hmm. But it didn't. I mean, it doesn't look like it liquefied. It looked like it just shifted a little bit. So that's um I guess that's a plus two as well. So you're gonna get again. You're going to get apple. You're going to get cinnamon. There's no pumpkin spice in here, guys, just so the you know. Spice. People that don't like pumpkin spice, this may be for you. So cinnamon, salted caramel, 
and then cigar. And it's like more of like a Cuban cigar scent. Yeah. And if you guys want to yeah. get this, if you want to get Shatterfly, you want to get Munchies, Wake and Bake, whatever it is, um, you can save only for the stream, which we're only streaming for an hour, maybe right. a little bit of an hour. Okay, guys, so you need to calm down over there for the people that just <laughs> We may go a little bit longer than an hour, uh, but you'll get 25% off using Shark 25. So, And we got giveaways. We got a couple giveaways. Yes, sir. And then even after the stream, um, you do have a Shark 20, which is a, a code that is always active. So if anybody, you know, anybody wants to pick it up tomorrow or Friday, whatever, any other day, Shark 20 will get you 20% off after the stream. Duh. <laughs> Actually, I got a question, question for you about that. Where, where did that come? Is there any story behind that, man? I, I don't know if there is or not. I got to beat this part beard product addiction. It's like what I guess, what I guess heroin is on. <laughs> um, <laughs> the bearded part came on. I was recording my first video, I think. And then I was like, all right, guys, well, I hope everybody has a good night and stay bearded. And I was like, well, fucking duh, they're going to stay bearded. <laughs> Oh, um, they're bearded. So what else are going to do? So I was like, okay, so I guess that's it. Stay bearded. Duh. That's it. Duh. Right on. No, that, <laughs> that's cool, man. I figured there had to be something behind it. Yeah. That, I mean, it was a silly Billy Rogers beard review said, Mike, I order while you still sitting there. I ordered <laughs> to go head down the mountain to the post office. <laughs> All right. I think Billy's down near somewhere in uh, Georgia. I'm, What's I'm, going on, family? Cribs is in here. We're so Mike. Um, and I know that there's other streams going on tonight, and that's um, I apologize if you know making it difficult on people streaming or you know people wanting to go back and forth. That's totally fine. Shark Talk yeah. is the original nine o'clock p.m. Eastern Tuesday night stream, guys. Just so you know, but yeah, there's bigger and better people out there that do these streams, so that's good. Mark Smith Jr., what's up, Mo? What's up, guys? So the people that just joined, this is Mike. How you Today, doing? Today, he joined the Shark to release his new Salem Smoke beard product or beard oil and beard butter for the fall 2020 lineup. And this is a really good, to me, it smells like candy apple. Um, uh, whatchamacallit, you get a little candy apple, a little bit of caramel in there. And then, of course, when it settles down, you get that like nice, like apple scent towards the end. But you get a little bit of Cuban. I don't get much cinnamon, but um, yeah. he, he said it's in the Cuban cigar. So, hey, it is what yeah, it it's is. mixed in with the apple, too. Actually, it's an apple cinnamon mix with the Cuban. So, yeah, I don't know. It's weird because that's what I smell a lot <laughs> of is the cinnamon. Oh, I uh, don't get cinnamon out of it, but then again, you know, I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for cinnamon. It could be the Cuban cigar. So um, that's what yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you're smelling more of this, the tobacco coming through on your, on your end. <clears throat> Moconic less problems. That's right. Barded Meb, the bearded Meb, sorry. And guys, for the people that, when I say it's a long lasting scent, it's not an overpowering, like smack you in the face kind of scent. It is stronger than normal apple scents that I smell, but it's a subtle scent. It's not going to leave you guys a trail of beards or anything like that. I call trail of beards is when someone walks by and says, damn, I can smell him from a mile away. <laughs> well, what are you going to do, sister? You're going to get my number or you're going to keep on walking? So that's how I look at it. <laughs> there you but, go. Um, I enjoy it. I, I like enjoy that, Shatterfly is a good one from them. Munchies a good scent from them. Wake and bake. I hear it's a good scent. Um, I haven't tried it, um, but um, that's what Rob Acker Straight Bearded said, and I and I trust his opinion. Yeah. Mo, what's up, man? Fabrice Robin. What's going on, brother? Hope you're doing good. Everybody. That's yeah, wake and bake has been something I've been messing with for a while, trying to get it right with the what cannabis mixed in there. The wake and oh, bake. The wake and bake the cannabis. So speaking of cabinet cab cannabis you have a cbd line coming out right yes yes i do yep okay it's coming uh it's i'm just trying to get it all done you know legally and you know correct um right. hold up right now honestly is just the, um the payment processing um there's just a few different avenues on how i'm going to handle it and application for one and then I, I don't know there's another way that i might be able to go about it so really i'm just holding i'm just held up on that so once that comes it'll be uh 
I'll be releasing yeah the oil butter wash and uh, conditioner in it. So, nice. So you'll have a wash and a conditioner. So that's cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm eager to try that and get my hands on a chronic is rocking the CBD. What's the MG in the bottle? What's um, are you? <laughs> we can't discuss that guys. Super <laughs> top, super top. CBD. Well, it'll come out. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about someone. I've actually had someone message me and ask me about it. I've actually played with a few different um, amounts. I went anywhere from 50 up to 500. So it's anywhere. Okay. It's going to be between 50 and 500. I'll leave it at that. We're gonna get white girl wasted with some CBD. <laughs> Need to get some. No, you know it's uh, I, I've been working with uh, my supplier. You know they're they that's all they specialize in hemp. Oh no! And I, I've been you know doing a lot of uh, video chats with them. You know just learning about different things, and he he pretty much broke down what he would recommend as far as for what I'm using it for. So I kind of think I got it uh, narrowed down, but. It's going to be between 50 and 500. So, so we're going to go with 499, guys, just so there you, you know. Four, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, that's crazy. And then Rob said he did get stupid and make one called or named the wild. the wild. Yeah, no, yeah, you know, there's a bunch of different names I can use with the theme, right? With the cannabis theme. Uh, but that is something that I thought about. So, interviews good for with Tennis Pipe. I haven't smelt those. My yeah. goal is by 2021, and I'll have. I'll have the entire lineup of Chronic Beard Company. Just All right. Because- I, I appreciate that. Yeah, the Santa's pipe is actually originally was a, it was a, a Christmas scent last year. You know, I, I today actually, I, I guess I should have mentioned this. Today is my one year anniversary that I uh, I launched the website. What? Yeah. So oh, it's I'm actually. I'm to be on here with you, man. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm glad you came out with Congratulations, me. Congratulations, guys. So for today's interview or today um, for his one year anniversary, Go show them some love. And what better way to show love is to order from a company. So appreciate that. Bree said, Mo, you probably don't remember me, but I am B Breeze underscore fab on Instagram. We spoke a few times. You always give me always give me legit advice for my beer. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. And hey, honesty is policy, guys. So I'm I'm glad I was able to help you again. Thank you for the super chat, sir. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. That's awesome. But, uh, no, one year in business. One year. I mean, I was selling, you know, ounces before, but um, it was just to my buddies and stuff like that. I guess I probably shouldn't have said I was selling ounces. I was selling beer products before. <laughs> just kind of came out. Not uh, down, guys. Just ounces. Just so you know. <laughs> just yeah, gone down. No, but yeah, it. Uh, I was selling them before, you know, just to friends, and then that's. I had the, the whole brand and the idea ready to go, but um, I was in the process of moving. I moved from Detroit down here to Tennessee. So That's once I got choice. settled in and everything. Uh-huh. So take us on that one year memory lane. Like, how does it feel? Whew, man, it's been a lot of ups and downs, you know, a lot of, a lot of, you know, ups and downs. I mean, a lot of controversy and stigma behind the, the, the cannabis theme, I guess the, the chronic name kind of, throws a red flag in some people's mind, I guess. I don't know, but, um, the, the, it's been fun, man. You know, I started, like I said, one year ago today is when I, I opened up my Instagram, I started the web, the website and, uh, you know, it's grown really well. You know, I'm in a couple other, obviously, uh, communities, the cannabis community, the uh, CBD, there's, you know, there's a lot of people that follow me from other, other communities. So it's kind of cool to be able to, you know, work and, you know, interact with, uh, you know, different, different people, you know, right. people from the, from the CBD or cannabis hemp communities are, you know, they think it's awesome how I've niched down and brought out, you know, the hemp, the hemp seed oil and, you know what I mean? And then eventually I'm going to just pretty much, it's all going to be CBD. Once the ball gets rolling, I may come out with a, a regular lineup, but it's going to be a lot of CBD. That That's was initially my, okay. That was initially my goal or my, my plan was to come out with a CBD line, but I knew that coming in with the chronic, and the 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 logo and you know i figured there was going to be some stigmas and you know and i did i get a lot of hate once in a while you know i in the beginning you know people trying to get me banned off instagram or facebook or whatever but uh so yeah man it's little been, Wayne says, little Wayne says throw dirt on me and grow a wild flower what's that <laughs> i said little <laughs> Wayne says throw dirt on me and grow a wild flower so beer flag up in this mother trucker says cheers mo and happy anniversary mike thank you so much 
I appreciate yeah. you. And if you guys have not subscribed to Beard Swag, let's get the mofo up to a thousand guys. Him Thank and you, Kurt, Kurt, they, they both deserve it. Right? They both deserve it. So make sure that you guys go subscribe to his and Beard Motivations YouTube channel. Who's nine year old uh, old ass still tripping on butt? <laughs> There's a lot of controversy around it. Um, I, I personally, I don't participate in marijuana, um, you know, thingies, but um, I have been using CBD and I enjoy using CBD like beard products and stuff. And I'm really looking forward to Chronic Beard Company um, joining the CBD game and seeing you guys, seeing you take off. And the fact that you are trying to move your entire lineup to CBD um, just to put focus on that, that's really cool to hear too as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, CBD, I mean, it seems like when I started using it for my beard, I don't know, it's just, it just seems like the skin, you know what I mean? Well, the skin's so healthy and so, so I don't know, just my, my beard feels thicker, you know? I mean, and I use yeah. it when I rub it on my, you know, I mean, the hemp seed oil works great too, but it just seems like the CBD just takes it to a different level for me. So for someone like a beard uh, company owner like you, I got two questions for you um, yeah. from Stephen, St Stefan, maybe, or Stephen. We'll go with Stefan. He says, what advice do you have for someone that wants to start up a beard company? Oh, um, uh, man, I just, um, well, what I did was I would just went with uh, passion, right? Uh, cannabis was a big part of my life in Michigan. Um, the hemp. And the other, you know, the, the cousins, uh, the laws are a little different up there. And, um, you know, so I just took something that I loved and I, my, you know, I was loved having a beard, found out that, you know, there was benefits with the, uh, the hemp. And I, I just ran with a passion, you know, that way I knew I was going to have fun with it and, um, you know, it was going to come natural to me. And then also, man, it's a grind, bro. <laughs> it ain't, you're not going to open up and, you know, you got these high expectations and maybe for some people, but it's a right. grind, man. Just hustle and then you know, don't give up. Don't don't worry about haters. Be be yourself, be unique. And I think it's like anything in life, man. You get in which or you get out of it what you put in, man. So right. I I, I agree with you hundred percent. Mini P said, got my combo plus some munchies and my favorite more wake and bake, bro. You gotta make wash and wake and bake and give it all more stank. Uh, <laughs> and then we got Nicholas in here. Hey Nicholas, how you doing, sir? And then he also has another question. He says, what benefits does the CBD have in hair? Um, what would you say to me? I would say that it makes my, um, it has a lot of fatty acids in there. So it does really it does wonders for my skin. And also for the hair, it strengthens your hair. Number one, number two, it's a really good, um, I guess you can say, natural antibiotic for the skin underneath like yeah. if you have eczema or if you have a lot of like irritation all that it helps uh clear the skin they say it promotes hair growth but i mean i don't i don't, I don't justify that because i don't know i think yeah it's i mean it's number one i think i think the 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 way it it promotes it helps like your hair follicles be you know they're stronger so i think you know like indirectly it promotes it to, to grow thicker, you know? So if your hairs are, they're thicker, you know, they're longer, you know, they're, they're stronger. It's going to appear to be, you know, I think, you know, I don't think it, I mean, it would, besides like what, uh, minoxidil, I don't think anything really actually goes in there and helps you, uh, you know, makes you grow hair. You know what I mean? And I think like any beard, man, you're either going to be able to grow one or you're not, regardless of right. what you're putting in it, you know? And even, even down to your diet, you know, I mean, if you're not drinking a lot of water, you know, if you got a shit diet, oh, I don't know. So I don't know if you cuss on here, uh, but if you got a bad diet, you demonetize, dude, come on, man, now. you know, <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of variables. That we're demonetize. I really don't know. I don't know if you can cuss or not in while in live streams or not while you're monetized, but it is what know. it is. Um, so no, it is not available yet, Rob. It is coming soon. And I think we might be going live on my channel again to release the CBD lineup. Am I wrong? Not the first one. Not the first one. That's set up. I'm going to do that with Joe and Chef. Um, and then after that, yeah, definitely we're going to jump on one. Right. We'll get on one and release one Yeah, in the future. I can't wait for that. All right. So you're going to get off here since you ain't doing business with. No, I'm kidding with. <laughs> um, oh, I want to too. And, you know, that's one thing. I went from one stream to another. 
I actually, I paused you earlier and I took my shirt off for me to put my chronic beard shirt on. And then I forgot why I took my shirt off. And then now when Swag said, I love my chronic shirt, I realized why I took my shirt off earlier to put my chronic beard shirt on. And I totally forgot all about it. So, um, <laughs> That's funny. yeah, it's nice and it's nice and soft. Chronic beard promotes positive mental health. Yo, Phil's what's up? What's up, Daniel? Um, Daniel's yeah. actually number one in line waiting. So how about that? And Devin <laughs> is in here. What's going on, Devin? I need the new scent, brother. So the new scent, guys, for the people that weren't just came in here, you're going to get apple, cinnamon, salted caramel, and you're going to get cigar as well. So you definitely get a nice fall blend with that. Yeah. So you took your shirt off and forgot why. Yeah, Rob. Kind of got excited. Stuff happens, man. <laughs> um, At least you put I one back on. I took my shirt off. Hey, we got beer product and reviews up in this mother trucker. Hey, up, Josh? Josh is an awesome guy. Um, the butter is nice, super, and creamy, guys. So you're going to get a good quality butter. The yeah. scent, you just get that candy apple scent, man. And then like that that Cuban cigar towards the end. <sighs> man, it's a good scent. I like this scent. I like this. is a good fall. I, am, I, you, I know you got your uh, fall fall extravaganza coming up so i don't want you to I, I don't think this is in it but no there you go yeah you can zoom in better but um yeah you definitely said that you, you really liked it man I'm, I'm glad to hear that especially i'm sure you you've tried a lot of false scents <clears throat> definitely a really good false scent i mean i i like i'm not a i'm not you know against um pumpkin scents but it's good for someone is how dominant is the cigar stank the the cigars towards the back in my in my opinion swag you get more of the salted car, uh, caramel in the front and the apple and then the cigar comes out whenever it settles in yeah um, and the but it's good to have a fall scent that's not around with um doing with apple you know pumpkin spice i mean Bro, nothing to do with the launch, but I have so much more respect for y'all as constant or content creators. I started today working on my introduction, and man, it is so freaking odd. Again, much love, man. That's one channel that I cannot wait to start following. Yeah, his right on. He's on his workout journey. Maybe that I can start, you know, pushing myself to work out instead of pushing up to go to the kitchen. Um, I'll be going to the gym. So make sure you guys hit, keep a lookout for Vinny P's um, YouTube channel. Um, yeah, he's cool. definitely a motivator, man. Some of his videos, I'll be messaging him like, man, you're he's a, he's a big boy, man. Who, um, Vinny P, yeah, he's a yeah. big boy. So you're definitely, if you guys are ready for fall, this is definitely a fall scent that you guys want to get. Apple, cinnamon, salted and caramel, and cigar. It is one ounce. You get 25% off during the stream tonight using code SHARK25. Um, we got Gary. What's up, Gary? Thank you for the super chat, sir. He said, Shark, baby. Um, so I appreciate that, Gary. You didn't have to do That's that. Awesome. Yeah, Benny P is a monster. But I'll yeah. take you on. I'll t Me and you are going to go to a buffet one day, Vinny. I'm going to see y'all out eat you. I'm kidding. Yeah. Then he got He's going to be like, all right, let's go to the gym. And we'll, we'll throw up. Let's put 400 on that boy. See how many reps we get in. So, guys, check out that label. Yeah, it's, I switched up the labels a little bit. It's definitely go. fall. It's fall, y'all. It's fall. Um, it's definitely fall themed. It's Halloween themed, which is in the fall too, guys. Duh. And um, the ingredients that you're going to find in here is hemp seed, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, fragrance and essential oils and vitamin E. And of course it is in Tracy city, Tennessee, which is not that far away from me. Yeah. No, not very far at all. I tried to meet up with him one day and he never said, okay. I'm kidding. Yeah. I, I just, it was weird the way you messaged me though. You know, it was that, it was just awkward. You didn't have a shirt on. I mean, you know, it, it was the heat of the moment, but yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> so the combo is $21.37 with Shark 25. Thank you, Billy Rogers. Gary said that he used Munchies butter today. That's awesome. Yeah, I appreciate that, Gary. Combos 
uh, Mr. Jones said, he said, for those who don't know, free shipping, not common. I missed munchies and regret it. I'll grab it when the CBD drops. That's what Rob Acker said. Um, right the ingredients that you're going to find in the butter is going to be hemp seed butter, jojoba butter, sweet almond butter, hemp seed, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, essential oil and fragrance as well. Um, so you get the hemp butter and hemp seed oil in this. Yeah, I, I added. I changed it up yep. a little bit for the for the butters on this one. I had a little extra oils in it, just to give yeah. it a little extra punch. So we got twenty one people in here. Let's go ahead and do the first, first giveaway. giveaway. Right we'll do the giveaway, and the giveaway for the first one is going to be for a t shirt, right? Yes, sir. Yep. So we're going to do a Chronic Beard Company shirt, and we're going to handle this by doing a number. Um, generator so let me pull up my app real quick and we're going to do it for one through 15 and now is there size restrictions is it us only um yeah i would prefer it to be us only just because okay. unless they want to pay for for the shipping so okay so therefore you guys heard that for the people that are out of the us you still get the product for free but you still have to, but you have to pay for shipping um, hold on, guys, for the people that started posting, uh, putting numbers in there. Hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> I have not even set up the number generator yet. Um, so let me set it up real quick, and then I'll tell you guys when to go. I know. I'm excited to win a Chronic Beard Company shirt, too. Hey, David, how you doing in here? The, that beard guy, Kansas City. All right, so you guys yeah. stop. So any anything... All right, so any any number after the dot dot dots from Beard Code is gonna go. So one through fifteen, go. All righty. So anything below Beard Code's number or the dot dots is what I'm gonna take. Um, so <laughs> Beard Meb said premature. <laughs> premature. Hey, hey. stop. I got a little premature with the launch. We do have a winner, guys. We have a winner. We have a winner. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let me go and make sure that there is nobody else that won. Nope. I got the winner here. Let me pull it up. All righty. The winner is Straight Beard Rob with right. number six. So congratulations, Rob, on that winning. Congrats, right there. Rob. Um, just make sure that you message um, – Mike and let him know what size you want. I think he wears a uh, medium. I'm it was a, I think he ordered before. Yeah, it was a medium. Yeah, I think so. Congratulations. He, it, he, he wanted me to cut it above the belly button, but I didn't felt uncomfortable doing that. Ice is back with a brand new edition. <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations, Rob. Wow. Wow. Awesome. I never win. Hey, sometimes you get lucky up in, you know, up in the Here beer you know. world or in the world. I never, I've never won a um a giveaway like yeah, I, don't, I don't think i have i think the i didn't win i well i guess i guess you can say i won last year year before that two years ago scuba did a live stream on his channel and i just hopped in and said hey and then scott beer times with scott was like and you know what we're just gonna make the bearded shark as a winner and i'm like whoa what did i win <laughs> hey that's cool yeah that was pretty cool um so, the only time I win is when I go to the casino, man. Not every time, but I've won pretty big at the casino, but I've never won in no giveaways. <laughs> David said cutting above the belly button is out. It's all about trying it, tying it up now. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Whatever you want, Rob. If that's what Rob wants, I got you, buddy. Ooh. Now, Billy Rogers wants to know, are you doing a shirt with the fall logo? Uh, you know, I thought about it, man, but I don't know, um, you know, to get that, you know, it just costs, right? So I don't know if it would, you know, no, maybe, you I, don't, I probably not, honestly. But I have thought about um, just coming out with the different colors for the logo, because obviously um, I think there, there's some really cool colors and designs I could do with it. So, I mean, maybe we'll have to see, because I do make my shirts in-house. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Will you make a muscle shirt with that little peekaboo one nipple? We can make I got that. You, man. What side? <laughs> what side do you want the nipple? <laughs> I, I think his left his left nipple is better his than third, the right. his third nipple. We'll He's go with the left nipple. Tarzan style. So right now, so okay, so guys, in bottle, 
in bottle you get the apple you get a little bit of the cigar scent but you definitely get like the salted caramel in here and then when you put it in beard i already have it in beard but i'm gonna warm it up in hand too um <laughs> i'm gonna warm it up in hand yeah the apple it changes really, up a lot, doesn't it? yes it does man it just changes scent so you definitely get the apple now that I'm looking for the cinnamon, I guess I can smell it in the background, but I think it's more of the cigar than anything. And yeah. it's definitely a sweet type of cigar. And Mike said it's a Cuban cigar, guys. Yeah, Cuban but, tobacco um, cigar. It smells like candy apple. <laughs> um, it smells so good. Um, there's a couple questions here. Um, would I rather drink a tub of hot sauce or eat five? I'm not even going to touch a spider. So, I mean, I'll slam some red hot. Bread hot and so, some chicken. <laughs> I um, do you make do you, do you make or buy the hemp? Actually, I, I source. Uh, I I don't make the the hemp butter. Um, I source it actually local right here in Tennessee. So, um, about twenty minutes from from where I live. So how far away are you from Pigeon Forge? I'm about two two and a half hours. I'm are like forty five. Right? I'm about forty five minutes west of Chattanooga. Okay, twenty four. Okay, I'm definitely gonna. As soon as I get done with school, Mike, do you plan on more scents for you for your wash and co wash? So, yeah, actually, I do. I'm gonna, um, I was just talking to somebody about it earlier. I'm coming out with the munchies. I'd like to ideally come out with all scents for it, right? Um, I think once I get to the point where I'm, um, uh, because I don't make my labels in house, it's just something that I haven't done yet. I, I, I can do it, I, I'm getting to the point where I can do it. So, I think once I get to that point. Where I'm making all my labels instead of buying them, I'll uh, all the scents will come out. But Munchies is going to be the next one that comes, and then I'm going to do an unscented. Nice, nice. So the unscented will be available in the CBD lineup, right? I'm gonna the unscented will be available, um, yeah, probably in the in the CBD, and then it's going to be just available, just regular. But initially, when I drop the CBD wash and conditioner, it will be. Um, scented and my first scent for the cbd is actually going to be a leather scent uh, i don't have a leather scent so. rob for your taste and scents i would definitely go with munchies over shatterfly i mean i, I love they're they're both great scents and i love them both but shatterfly is more of a cologne it smells like curved to me and the shatterfly i mean that's shatterfly munchies it's more of like a vanilla bean cupcake icing kind of scent um, yeah. that's really good. I like Shatterfly and I like Munchies. Mo really just killed my vibe. My parents headed to Gatlinburg for their anniversary this weekend. Yeah, man, I'm just waiting for uh, December to get here so I can go to Gatlinburg. But I'm definitely going to meet up with – it's because I'm fat, isn't it? No, Dude, you're not fat. You're thick with two Cs. Get it right. <laughs> okay, you're not fat, Robert. So just so you know. Thick with two Cs. Yeah, and there's a difference between thick and – big guys we know this i love the look of the new scent man i love the look of the new scent i do too it really has a really nice label the label is just classy it's halloweenish it's fallish um i think it really goes with the name of it yeah that was my idea try to bring out the little you know the halloween the dark you Some, know i don't want to color yeah, because I mean, it's you know, it's that time of the year, right? Yeah, and I love this time of the year. I'm ready for football. I'm ready for corn dogs. See, that's the point. I did it, I, <laughs> booty popping. I did it uh, the opposite this year. So I started off by saying I'm going to lose X, Y, Z amount of, of weight, and I would do so good, and then I would just start eating, and then I'd gain whatever I lost back. Now I'm in the process <laughs> of I'm giving myself to my birthday to lose 25 more pounds but then again i'm like what's the point of even losing weight because fall and winter time are my favorite months and they you know i love christmas and i love thanksgiving and i love all kind of carnival foods and and all fall um, which they canceled the fair here this year but that don't mean yeah. i can't google how to make the stuff but i'm gonna gain it right back you know i mean you can still if you lost it and then just maintain it right and then too, if you're if you're actually lifting, right, you're gonna gain muscle. So yeah, I, this is I'm lifting this, but I ain't lifting no weights. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. I'm in school uh, or two jobs. Maybe, maybe 
that'll be my actual New Year's new me kind of thing. I think I'm going to um, work out this time, but um, I'm going to like, I, I got a, I, I got a gym membership. I just don't use it. And I mean, who, let me listen, guys, this sexy beast right here that you're looking at, I don't need yeah, no. You don't even need to work out, Mo. You just yeah. flaunt what you got, dude. Yeah, flaunt what you got. Titties flopping, belly, you know, popping. Shit. Nipples you. going, one going up, one's going down. Yeah. It's all good. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Congrats on the win, Acker. Thanks, Bearded Metal Chef, for telling them that. But, anyways, guys, enough about my beautiful body. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm so. I'm looking forward to getting your, um, looking forward for you to release in. Um, whatchamacallit for looking forward to your cbd lineup i'm excited about that yeah. really good fall subtle scent guys that lasts a while when i say subtle i mean like it's not something that's going to be overpowering or anything like that where your significant other or somebody's going to complain about you having it or you get tired of it being so strong um definitely really really great apple scent yeah, I, you know, I, I, I get the, the sentiment. Maybe it's just a cigar I'm smelling. I'm not a huge cigar guy, though, so I guess maybe um, there we go. you're able to pull the cigar out of it. The cigar comes out towards the end. That's when I get the cigar. I yeah. get the cigar towards the end when it settles down, and then I get the, There we go. Now it wants to focus. You know, I think that the, the scents have been something, because obviously I'm a new company as far as having – a lot of product out there for different people to, to, you know, give me their feedback and, you know, hearing different reviews. So um, adjusting the sense and has been definitely something that I know that I've, I've always worked on, you know what I'm saying? Um, the product I think is it's sits, you know, where it's at. And with the exception of adding CBD, I don't think it's going to get much better for what I want. Um, just adjusting the scent profiles and, you know, some people want the long lasting scent, want it super, you know, super strong. Other people, just the opposite so you know it's uh trying to find that happy medium is uh something that i just continue to try to do this one definitely lasts a lot longer than it than does most. it lasts a lot longer but it's not overpowering i guess you can say um i like it because it's a definitely daytime or nighttime scent um it'll definitely get you in the mood for fall so if you guys like fall this is definitely a scent for you guys to, uh um try out um I'm I'm right there where All right, Vinny. I'm wearing strong scents during the daytime and then nighttime wear like a um like a more subtle scent yeah. or not too overpowering scent because when it comes you know wanting to sleep and all that I don't want like a big I guess it's you know it's appropriate to use the word loud since we're talking about chronic <laughs> beards here guys in our right but um I don't want it to be too loud during the nighttime and I think this is just a easy like happy medium blend between both of them yeah yeah no i i agree you know me personally at night i um i like to wear shatter um see you Vinny. thank you so much for coming in here sir my yeah, chronic like beard dream <laughs> that's funny you know at night i like to put in the shatter fly because it is a subtle scent it's very subtle so um i like wearing the, the shatter fly at night and actually i've been adding citrus to it um, oh really? Yeah, it actually am smells I crazy. Really good. Am I the only one that thinks it smells like Curve? No, actually, it's a comparison to Amber Crombie and Fitch Fierce. Huh? Well, I get Curve out of it. <laughs> How about that? No, yeah. So, peace. Okay, see ya, see ya, Josh. Thank you for stopping in here, bro. Uh, bro, I really appreciate it. CBD stands for Chronic Beard Dreams, is what <laughs> Champ says. You might, uh, yeah. y- Yemens, I get. I, I, I don't know. I don't want to pronounce your last name wrong, but it's him. Is but for the people that are wondering what the scent smells like, just take a whiff real quick. <laughs> Go ahead and smell that. Yeah, you guys smell that. Did you guys get that? All right. So you see where I'm talking about the apples up front? Okay, cool. So <laughs> also get curved most. So Hookham says he gets curved. So chronically bearded. Um, can you? Okay, all right. They're over here texting me to go do a bond at eleven o'clock. No. I'm going to bed. Do a what? I said they want me to go bail someone out of jail at eleven o'clock, and I'm like, no, I'm going to bed. Uh-oh. 
Went through a tin of Munchies butter in a very short time. Recently reordered two more tins. So that's something I can say about Chronic Beard Company. So for the scents that I do get, or that I do have, they are addicting. They're addicting scents. So oh, they're scents that remind you of childhood dreams um, or reminds you of like a, you know, past experience in your life or something that's coming up. So for the munchies, to me, it smelled like whenever I was a kid, my mom would make cupcakes or cake or whatever. And I would be, yeah, <laughs> I guess it, I guess it fits with the way I look now, but um, I would definitely be the one that goes, a lot. Yeah, goes, takes the spoon and scrapes the bowl up and eat the rest of the cake batter. Um, and so that's why I like munchies. Shatterfly reminds me of the first cologne I ever bought, which is Curve. Um, <laughs> we have Salem Smoke, which reminds me of fall time, which I love fall. Fall and winter time are my favorite months. And it sucks because I live in Georgia and sometimes we don't get a fall like season. It just goes from summer 99 to 45 chance of uh, snow with low 32 degrees. <laughs> yeah. So Rob, you, 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 you always lived in Georgia. I was born in Chicago, but I was raised here in Georgia. Um, so I hemp seed, jojoba seed, almond, I think someone asked a um, question about it. What do they want to know? Uh, what's the carrier blend? So the carrier blend that you're going to find in the oil is going to be hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, fragrance, essential uh, oils, and, of course, vitamin E. So come on, focus, buddy. I hate how my camera, sometimes it wants to focus, sometimes it don't want to focus. But that's what you get out of it. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so yours focus, so that's good. Mine won't focus for nothing. Sometimes it's temperamental. Um, and then in the butter, guys, you're going to get hemp seed butter, jojoba butter, sweet almond butter, and then, of course, it's carrier blend as well. So yeah. So that is, come on. Okay, there we go. It wants to focus now. So let me ask you, how, how when you smell the butter and the oil, and the oil they, they smell – pretty close i mean that's that's something that i've always wanted to make sure you know yeah they smell the same except that the butter has a um lighter scent than the oil which okay. is i like that me personally i like that because you know at night time sometimes i just throw in butter i don't even throw in oil sometimes okay. i call it the scuba method where he just uses uh butter yeah. and uh, all right joey like thanks a lot buddy i appreciate you well oh, oh see you joey thank you so much for being in here sir but you definitely get like a lighter scent, but they match. The scent profiles definitely do match. Now, that's what is it hard as a company owner or, or a product maker? Is it hard? Is the obviously the ingredients and the recipe you use for the oil is look different than the butter? Yeah. But how often do you find yourself like saying, well, the butter doesn't smell anything like the oil? No, actually, you know, um, when I, when I started blending the the butters, when I started making it, um, I, I that was some. I went through so much butter, like I you know I had shea butter, mango. It was all kinds of different butters that I had, and um, as I noticed scent setting in them, that's when I I kind of came with. I wanted the hemp butter in there, just because you know obviously if not it was just going to be hemp seed oil. Yeah. But um, the reason why I chose these actual blends is for the fact that they um, they hold the scent very similar to the oil so you know what i mean and then they are they obviously feel great in beard and they're super creamy and so that was really um a big it happens to just be the same oils so it just kind of worked out that way you know so we got a question from chance that says mike you got any chronic beard tats no uh, no no not not yet maybe one day you know if it starts bringing me in you know millions i'll tat it on me but until then, it's got to prove itself. <laughs> Can't just get his name on me. Hey, you may, dude. You may just go ahead and just. You know, I, I'm hoping that when some of the laws change in the country, it'll open up people's minds or even open up, you know, they're just the idea of, you know. And also, I'm going to be getting away from um, 
one of my things I wanted to always do was to stick around and always do the uh, like the munchies, wake and bake, homegrown, keep that whole, you know, cannabis kind of uh, lingo in there. But as I've, you know, moved on or evolved with the company, I'm going to start, you know, I might keep like the Salem smoke, you know, stuff like that. But it's not going to be, you know, I may do a line of cannabis line, you know, and call it like Kush or some blueberry Kush or something like that. But moving forward, a lot of the stuff like the, the first CBD scent is called uh, Holy Roller. Holy Roller. That's probably going to be a smoky scent in it. The holy roll? No, it's a leather. It's a leather bourbon, um, musk, and then um, a couple other 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 little things. Oh, okay. So I was yeah. Completely- well, actually, too, I don't know a lot of you. you maybe you don't know. I'm actually going to be releasing a character for the CBD line. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's he's a, he's so it's going to be the same character throughout. He's just going to change his uh, you know, he's going to change up what he's what he's wearing. He's Mister Eclectic. So, oh, okay. um, That's yeah, cool. That's a, do you find that you get more sales from states that have legalized marijuana or legalized it? Um, yeah, no, definitely. Especially uh, in the beginning, um, like California, like my first few months, uh, it was I was shipping to California like crazy. And then, um, you know, but yeah, definitely there seems to be more sales with the states where. Uh, things are more, uh, you know, legalized or whatever. But, it, you know, hemp is legal everywhere in the United States. But some states obviously have their own laws. So federally, hemp is legal, I, I should say. Um, but some states, you know, CBD is not legal or whatever. And, um, you know, that was just some of the stuff that I had to make sure I crossed off and got got to, you know, got it all together before I launch any of the CBD stuff. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Rob said, please no frankincense. <laughs> so now I, the reason why I just smelt my hands because I've been letting it settle and all this. And this is when I really get that cigar scent is whenever it settles. So, and it's not a strong scent. You do get like a sweet tobacco, like a Cuban cigar kind of scent. Yeah. After it settles, but you start off with it smelling like a, you know, like literally being at the fair and picking up like a candy apple. Um, yeah. That, that is all the caramel or caramel. caramel. Know, whatever you, want you do. Huh? Caramel. I'll give you a thumbs down if you don't say caramel. So I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'll give this video a thumbs down right now if you say caramel one more time. That's it. Game <laughs> over. Shirts coming off. We're about to fight. <laughs> uh, is that three nipples? <laughs> you got hey, three nipples there. Four nipples right here, guys. So, um, I am. I'm eager to see where your chronic. Uh, uh, beard company goes with the CBD line. I think the CBD definitely goes with the name. And um, I think a lot of people are excited about it too. So that's really good. Yeah. You know, honestly, Mo, I, I got to give you credit, dude. Uh, I think you have a little more clout in the, uh, in the beard community maybe than wow. you realize, or at least you did for my particular video, the review you did on chronic. Um, you, I had a lot of people message me. Um, I, you know, I, you know, Mo, I've seen his review and, you know, I've always wanted to order from you and I just, I, you know, I didn't want, you know, I didn't do it because of the, the whole chronic idea. But, you know, Mo said it changed his view on it. And uh, I'm going to be picking up something. What, you know, what do you recommend or whatever? And I probably, I don't know. I don't know how many sales I made from that. What I mean, it was close to like 10 or something. But just the idea that people, you change people's view on my company too. You know, even if you change one person, you know, even just the fact that your your own view was changed, I, I think is pretty bad at Oh, I almost I almost slipped up there. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so um, yeah, man, I appreciate that, dude. Well, I appreciate that. that you, no, no. I'm just reading right here. So Chance said Mo and Mike Armour, he'll he'd win. I have bad shoulders. Um, <laughs> I've got so many new sense 25 package unboxing videos coming this week. Chronic is in there. Dang, Billy. Fabrice said wow. this may sound crazy. Obviously, I buy sense that I like, but I also consider sense that would be popular with the ladies. Do you know of any sense from your line that the ladies like Shatterfly? Um, Munchies. Shatterfly is one of them. Munchies because it makes them want to eat your beard up. I guess you can say. Yeah, a lot of a lot of women want it, dude. Like their wives will take it from them. I get people that will say, oh, "I got to order another bundle because my wife took or the butter. My wife took the Munchie butter. I'm going to order another one." <laughs> and but I mean, this it's fall. Which female? I don't know any females that don't like fall scents, guys. And yeah, my my wife loves this scent. 
This is ultimate apple, cinnamon, salted caramel, and a cigar. Um, so I think that you know this definitely fits where the females would like it because women yeah. like sweet scents, and I think that's that's right up the alley. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, women like the sweet stuff, so. I mean, and it did, well, and I appreciate you saying that too. But it did, like my uh, my video on Chronic, like honestly, because I told Mike, I was like, "Hey, I'll do. Um, I'll, I'm gonna, you know, since you're sending out stuff for the summer scent, um, I said I'm gonna do a review for you." And I was like, you know, but just so you know, sending me out the stuff is not gonna influence how I do the video. And I remember right. being on the phone with um, Scott and Brian, and I put. And I said, I got chronic. They said, Yeah, like, what do you think of it? I was like, It smells really good. I said, But you guys know how you guys know how I feel about hemp seed oil. It's not, I was like, it's I was like, it sucks that I like these scents, but it's gonna, it's not gonna work for my beard. And yeah. then um, I remember taking a shower, putting stuff, washing my beard out, and then put it in. And then I woke up the next day and I talked to Scott and I said, it actually made my beard feel really good, but I said, and I made an excuse. I was like, you know what? I don't think it has anything to do with the oil. I think it's the fact that I used XYZ conditioner in the shower. And he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then um, that night, I stripped my beard out, and um, I put it back in there, and I put the butter. Woke up the next day, and I was like, okay. I was like, I'm going to try this out for more than a week to see what I think. Maybe it's just my, it's the transition into my beard. And I tried it out, and ever since then, I haven't put down Chronic Beard Company. They're you're definitely one of my favorite companies, and I'm thankful for you to be able, you know, for you. it's an honor for me to do a launch party with you. But it definitely in my drawer, right? Well, you guys can't see me pointing, but in my drawer right there, I have Shatterfly and I have the Munchies, and um, I look forward to wearing them because I went. It's like if you, it's like if you have if you're if you if you horrible at doing math. And then finally you wake up one morning and then you realize, oh, well, I just now figured out how I'm going to be able to do this math problem. You start wanting to start do more of those math problems. Same thing with mm -hmm. this. You know, I've been living a life saying that I hate hemp seed oil. It makes my beard feel crappy. And then I got introduced to Chronic Beard Company and I'm like, oh, my God, I can't you know, say I don't like hemp seed oil no more. <laughs> You know, I can be honest with you. When I make the, uh, it seems like certain scents sit different. I don't know because the hemp seed is definitely dominant in there. I know that's the reason why it's the number one ingredient. It's dominant. It's um, and I, I don't. I notice though certain scents. I'll have to. Uh, I'll I'll like order them from a different company just to see if it's sitting different. And it's usually the the butter, but um, it'll it'll affect the um. The, the 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 consistency of it right and it'll be the same amount that i would add that that's recommended or whatever right and it will change the consistency so i'm thinking well if it's changes the consistency of the butter you know it's, what is it going to be doing to the oil you know so i i won't maybe use that scent or i'll try a different company so maybe maybe the companies that had the uh the hemp seed maybe they were just a, a certain essential or you know fragrance oil just wasn't sitting right with the with the you know the blend or something for your beard but then again all beards are different too though right i think so too i think all beards i'm going to do the porosity test that tyson was talking about too to figure it out um but i don't know but i definitely don't have a problem with this hemp seed oil at least uh mike when you cool your butters do you freeze or refrigerate Ref i refrigerate yeah i don't freeze them actually i only refrigerate them for 20 minutes or so i mean they're in them 10 cans so uh which i'm changing by the way i'm going to probably slowly I don't know how many more I have right now. I got 500 or something that I've ordered that or that I got. It. You know, once they're gone, I'll I'm gonna switch back over to to the plastic. Um, just Jar? yeah, I think I'm gonna go back. Well, I'm gonna go up to four ounces or well, close to four ounce. I'm gonna uh, butter? Go butter. I like the two ounce butters. That's just me though. Um, you know, I th well, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer both, but I, I want to make sure that the jars are the same. And um, this ain't this ain't this is plastic, right? Yeah, the other one is a tin in the jar. Tin, right? Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go to glass jars, or uh, it's either gonna be glass or or plastic. Okay. Or like you know, like a thick. I, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna get rid of the tin. Well, actually, the the one reason why is I actually came across a certain scent that I really enjoy, and I would love to put it out there. Um, but for some reason, 
it uh, it's not recommended to put in uh, 10 jars for some reason. I don't know why. And then at this point, Don, too, I'm kind of thinking, well, should I even put it in my damn beard? But it's it's, it's good for bath and bodies, right? It's recommended for that. Okay. So, you know, I don't know. It's kind of one of those things, man. You know, but I'll just be playing with, you know, playing with it and see how it goes. Okay. But as far as my my stuff, definitely, I don't I don't freeze it, man. I don't want it to freeze and then have to. But that's just me, though. You know, I don't. And then when you refrigerate it, I um I put it in for twenty minutes, maybe, and then in maybe in that twenty minutes, I'll stir it at least once. Okay. So makes sense. But the butter, though, it's super. I mean, you. you it's a creamy it. butter. So let me show you guys the butter consistency for the ones that haven't ordered from um, Chronic. And you're looking at and buying it. It comes out very smooth, no pressure whatsoever. That's what it looks like in on your hand, finger. Um, <laughs> then you put it down, and you can see it's it's got like a little creamy texture to it. But one, yeah. two swipes, and that's just two swipes. That's not one swipe. That's not eight swipes. That's not seven thousand swipes. That's two swipes, and it's creamy. It goes in your beard. It really, really does a great job on nourishing the butter. And it smells delicious, obviously, because I have the Salem smoke in here. So, guys, <laughs> um, if you have not ordered from Chronic Beard, it is definitely shark approved. It's definitely a company that I think that deserves more attention and is underrated in the community. Um, and I know it's because, of you know, some people say it's because of the game and the, the name of it. Well, yeah. you know, don't be a mo. And don't judge a book by its cover and actually do give it a shot. Um, Shark yeah. 25, non-affiliate. That's just something Mike wanted to do tonight. It saved you 25% off. And I guess you get free shipping. Yeah, you get free shipping for up to after tonight. I'm going to actually have, that's what I had a, a live last night about. I'm, I'm getting rid of the free shipping after tonight, after this launch. I have to, I mean, it's just, I've been eating it for over a year and it's, um, it's just, it's something that I, I can't continue to do. Shipping costs are going. I mean, everything's gone up and, you know, um, continuing to offer free shipping. I'm going to there's still going to be free shipping, but it's going to be after forty dollars. OK, so What's but I'm going to like be a, a four dollar flat flat rate. So I like, I like the flat rates at least. Yeah. But what's up, Mike? And what's up, everyone? Rocking my daughter to sleep, but I had to come in and say hi and support. Thank you, Kyle. I hope the baby and the family are doing wonderful. I appreciate you. He's so much nicer than Joe. Joe calls me fat. Kyle tells me I'm beautiful. So it's like having Jekyll and Hyde on your shoulders. Uh, <laughs> Shark approved even? Of course, Tyson. Um, awesome. Rob said it's a top 10 butter for sure. Maybe even five. Mike's mm -hmm. butter is super creamy. Good stuff. Completely agree. love Shatterfly from Chronic, then drop two CBD releases at the same time. Oh, see, mm. Kyle saying Mo is beautiful, and then Joe will come in here later and say he'll call me Tubby. So call I mean, you Tubby, yeah, triple so, nips, triple nips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, triple nips. Oh, triple nips. Guys, yeah, no, I appreciate the uh, all the love, man, and yeah, CBD's coming like. I got a bunch of really cool scents too that I want to drop for it, you know, and I really want to just drop them now just because they smell so good, but I want them to come in the CBD line. So nice. Yeah. But it's definitely going to be coming. And then I, you know, I have other plans for other CBD stuff that would benefit, you know, us. So um, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming out with the CBD once I can uh, legally sell it, you know, and make sure that I'm not going to get any, any issues from it. So we'll have to, we'll have to after dark. Shatterfly made my top cologne scents. I love it. Yeah, it's a good – Shatterfly is an amazing scent. Um, it smells like Aber, Abercrombie and Finch Fierce, you said. To me, yeah, I Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be compared to. Yeah. To me, it smells like Curve, which Curve was the first cologne I ever bought with my own money. And <laughs> the funny part about it is I bought the cologne Curve, um, and then I liked it. And then I was like, oh, so this is why people wear cologne. Because I was in middle school, man. I was getting compliments from the girls and the people. Oh, you smell good. And I'm like, okay. All right. I remember. I'm nervous. And I, I, I'm, I'm stupid for doing this, but I guess, you know, it worked hell, but I poured the bottle of curve that I had because at the time the colognes were screw on top and um, I poured it inside of a spray on bottle, like a little spray bottle. And then I left a little bit in there and I poured water in there. 
And then I remember going back to, and I'm so horrible for doing this, but I remember going back to the store that I bought it from when I said, Hey man, I bought this um, yesterday and it smells like water to me. Um, you know, what can I do? And they offered me another bottle. So I had two bottles for the price of one. <laughs> oh man. That was a little hellion. Man. Yeah. Santa Pipe munchies are great scent as well. Santa's pipe. I've never smelled Santa's pipe. Uh, it was initially supposed to be just a Christmas scent, and then I sold out of it, um, and then people still wanted it, so I kept it around. I was going to change the name of it, just keep the scent, but um, I think after this Christmas, I'll I'll pull it down and then release it. You know, Christmas time, maybe Christmas in July or something. Um, Christmas in July. See, Scott does Christmas in July. Oh, right on. Yeah, so there's Christmas in July, and I like that because it reminds me that Christmas is just six months away. So yeah, um, I love Christmas, man. I love fall because of the, the the season, the weather, but I love Christmas, the feeling. Yeah, dude, I, I love the food that comes with it. I love buying presents. So, I mean, like, yeah, oh, I, I, love it, dude. I got three kids, and my kids are six, three, and two. So Christmas is you know magical right now. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. it's, it's Santa's, uh, you know, Santa's that guy. So. I just, you know, it's it's a short, I think it's a short window in life anymore. My son's six, he's in first grade, and he's already got kids telling him, you know, Santa's not real. So I'm like, well, point him out. I'm going to go over here and give this little boy a talking to, you know what I mean? But no, right. I just want it to be, you know. Um, Whenever magical. I have kids, if, if I have other people trying to ruin the magical time where kids believe in Santa Claus, I'll slap somebody. I'm like, look, so I where's your daddy at? Because me and your daddy. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to hit you, but where's your where's your dad at? I got to have a talk to I'm him. I'm about to slap your daddy because of the fact that you just <laughs> told my son that Santa calls Santa. Hashtag I still believe. That's what, that's what we're going to do. Hashtag I still believe. You know, and I told him, I said, well, do you believe he's real? And he said, well, I don't know how we got all those gifts. I said, you're, you're right. And then he he's he's real. And he's like, I know he is. And I was like, next time he says that, just, you know. Tell him he don't know what he's talking about. Or just look <laughs> at him. Your head. All right, Bearded Meb. Thank you so much for coming in here, sir. Oh, Joshua Ricks. What's up, fellas? How you doing, hey, sir? I think someone had a question. Oh, did they? Homegrown. Describe oh, homegrown. Described the scent to homegrown. Go ahead. It's a citrus. It's a, it's a sweet citrus, earthy cannabis. So there's a, there's a cannabis scent to it, but it blends real well with the uh, with the citrus. Which is like a um, an orange and a lemon, and um, the lemon's real light in there. But it, yeah, it all blends real nice together. I actually I, I love this, the the uh, mixing the citrus with the shatterfly. I've been doing it lately at night, man. It because I put shatter in at night usually, mm -hmm. and it just smells so good. That sweetness of the citrus just kind of pops in the beginning, and then it uh, mm -hmm. and it's super good. What's up? Bro? What's up, Bill? Chance wants to look up, Bill. Chance wants to know if you are Irish. I'm Norwegian. Me, like your charms. He's yeah. Norwegian. Okay. Yeah, I'm too. That's cool, yeah, man. I'm, yeah, I'm a, from the uh, Vikings. Well, guys, let us go ahead and do that last giveaway. It is not a 10 10. Time flies when you're having fun. And uh, it is almost bedtime for me. So. We got 25 people in here, so yes. let us go and do the number generator again, and we're going to do 1 through 17. I know 17 is an odd number, but I want to be different, and this time, <laughs> hey, Metal Chef. Hey, go. what's up, Steven? 17, guys. Go, 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 go. Hold on, fellas. Damn. That was quick. We got a winner already. Oh, I must be lagging over here. Oh, Emo, what's going on, my brother from another mother? We got Amanda Johnson. We have a female in here. Hey, Amanda, how you doing? Right, Thank you for coming. Uh, Ryan, um, uh, the big man Beardeds, I believe that's his um, his wife. Oh, cool. Well, thank you for coming in here, Miss Amanda. All right, mm -hmm. guys. So we have a winner. I'm gonna look to make sure that nobody. What's up, Tiki? How you doing? Guys, there's hey, a new Monty. cartel chainsaw and snuff video where they gut a dude and start eating pieces of him while he's still alive. What? 
Wow. Hmm. All right. I've seen so, some crazy cartel videos. Justin Hip. Oh, nice. He's yeah, actually man. right. He's one of our neighbors, too, man. He's right there in Chattanooga. Oh, nice. We're going to have yeah. to do a big meetup. So Justin Hip got him a combo of the new Salem Smoke from uh, Chronic Beard Company. I know that some of you guys waited to see if you wanted to give away. I understand. I would do the same thing. 25% um, off is good until we sign off, which we're about to sign off. Um, definitely take advantage of that. 25% off is huge. Not a lot of yeah. companies do 25% off. So thank you, Mike, for doing that. Um, yeah, I'm smelling it. It smells so good. <laughs> and um, if you and guys still like 20% off after the live uh, Shark 20. Right. So. You can still use Shark 20 for 20% off, but you're going to get apple. You're going to get salted caramel or caramel, however you want to say it. You're gonna get a cigar, and you're gonna also get a little bit of cinnamon. I'm not. I don't. I don't smell cinnamon much in there, um, so it's not gonna be something that gonna tingle. I guess you can say. Um, you're not gonna get that, guys. It's a really good fall scent. It reminds me of being at the fair and picking up a um, candy apple. So yeah, you know that's crazy. You say that. That's actually kind of where my mind went with the whole fall theme was being at the fair and that smell oh. of that. You know, two, the caramel. two great minds think alike. What can I say? Yeah. Absolutely, man. Yeah, that's that's pretty much where I went with it. So I'm glad that 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 kind of what came out. You know what I mean? That's awesome to hear. Billy Rogers said, y'all be good. Just woke up. Have to grab some food. Have to get have a great one. All right, Billy. All right, Billy. Come Appreciate on. you, bro. Justin Hip, Tiki, Craig, Emo, Rob, everybody that came in here today. Tonight, thank you guys for rocking with us in Shark 25, um, or you can use Shark 20 after the stream. But we're looking forward to seeing the CBD line and anything else that comes out from Chronic. So appreciate it, man. Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. You know, we're definitely gonna have to get linked up on uh on that CBD stuff in the future, man. We'll definitely Absolutely. have to do another anything one. I, anything you need, just let me know, Mike. You got to get Chronic tattoos colors for each season. Yeah. You get one, I'll get one. What if I get like a chronic teardrop? teardrop? Yeah, like a chronic teardrop. Hey, Chance, I'll even pay for your tattoo. Who, me? Uh, well, if you want to get one on your face, yeah, I'll pay for yours too. Huh? I can't. I'm ugly enough. I don't need no tattoo to make it <laughs> even worse. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. And, of course, stay bearded. I uh, appreciate you guys, man. <laughs> Peace.